Happy hunting. Hunt me. I am the hunted one. I'm hunting most things. That is Hansel. You can hunt. Long have you hunted me. You are being hunted. Welcome back to another episode of Steam Hunt Top 10 Curations for the 16th of October 2018. Let's get into the first one today, which is winamp.com. Now, people who know and remember Winamp, it was one of the very first that I remember that did really, really well media players on Windows. And uh, I didn't really have a, a media player because we didn't really play much music on our PCs in the early days, or at least I didn't. Uh, had WAV files and then MP3 came along and we converted them from WAV files into MP3 and were like super shocked about the file size and they sounded pretty good. Uh, as, as good as a CD, it felt like anyway. Well, obviously, we find out afterwards like there was a lot of compression in there, but it meant that you could get a lot of music off CD into your computer, and then all of a sudden I had like this music library on my machine, and then I remember the cascade effect of like Apple bringing out their iPod and everything else. But uh, Winamp is coming back in 2019. You can get this still today for PC and Mac uh, to download it. If you're using iTunes or something like that, get rid of that, put Winamp on, and you'll see like there's a, a world of difference. There's visualizations, there's equalizers, there's all kinds of different plugins and, and shoutcast servers and things that you can like uh, listen in on. Um, and it's going to get refreshed in 2019, so it's worth looking out for. Next up is Volterra. Build hardware faster. Prototype on your desk with the Volterra V1 PCB builder. This thing is insane. The V1 print double-sided PCBs dispenses a solder paste and will help you explore new materials and substrates. Print conductive silver ink. Print your own circuit boards on your desktop and on your schedule. The Volterra V1 gets you from prototype to production faster than ever before. I mean, I mean, this is crazy. You literally can now engineer your own PC boards on your desktop, which on one hand, it's like, that's incredible that you can do that. It's, you know, we're way past like 3D printing now. We can actually print our own circuit boards. But then on the other side, I'm like, um, is there a problem with having people being able to custom make their own circuit board electronics? Like, it does concern me a little bit that we have that kind of level of power in our hands. I guess if people are doing using it for good, then that's awesome. But like, custom electronics, I mean, especially when you think about vulnerabilities in the, wor in the world, like affecting certain chipsets and boards, um, this means that you could basically build your own hardware to order. Uh, print, uh, PR Snit, per Snit, welcome to PR Snit, uh, the mood bo board tool that lays out your images automatically. This is kind of nice. So, if you have a bunch of images that you've done, like on a Photoshop shoot of maybe a house or some interior, then you can just drag them into this like mood board, and then there's like an AI system which automatically sorts it and orientates it in a way that it thinks would look more. Uh, attractive and, and just make it easier to like sketch up mood boards that you can send to other people as well fledgling shell is up next fledgling shell the ultimate portable ssd the world's fastest external storage device compatible with all machines join the revolution in data transfer today the world's first portable nvme ssd compatible with usb so this is actually a 3.1 device so you can actually use it on your latest laptop. First, NVM.E. So that's one of those like little memory boards. They act like a hard drive, but they don't have any moving parts. Um, I'm not sure if beautiful and compatible are. Uh, compatible is obviously important, but I'm not sure if beautiful is important. Uh, introducing the fledgling shell, the first portable SSD compatible with USB ports. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get a case for a M. Um, for the NVMe board, but uh, a lot of people are not going to know that. So something like this will do very well. They only need 1,500 and ended up with like 6,249. So they're just going to basically get this box made up, buy huge quantities of it, maybe a couple of hundred. I don't know how much the minimum order would be. Probably a hundred actually, and they're pretty much at 78 backers and have gone over their target. So they've got enough to cover it. Um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely like the um, these new drives, these new SSD um, cards. They're a lot better than moving parts, that's for sure. Veom is next. V V I O M E Vimo. 
Uh, we are upgrading our lab to increase capacity, add new services, and attain CLI certification. This will allow us to satisfy the demand for VMO worldwide and allow licensed healthcare providers to prescribe VMO as a service. Um, your genes are not your destiny. While your DNA is very much the same as that of other humans, your microbiome biome is not. Any two humans share 99% the same DNA. In contrast, two, two humans share about 5% the same microbiome bi, bio, bio? Microbial DNA. What this means, each person's microbiome is incredibly unique. Your body is unique. Why shouldn't your diet be? So this is some kind of service where you can find out I presume where you're at in terms of your gut bacteria so that you can actually do something about like maintaining or improving your gut bacteria which look there's so many custom ways to like look after yourself these days why not have some startup that's doing like dna level inspections of uh, your dna and uh, matching your food to suit menlo one is next the framework for scaling decentralized applications, Menlo One is an open source framework for making decentralized applications as fast and easy to use as their centralized predecessors. Uh, that would be interesting. I, I don't know where I stand with ICOs right now. I feel like they've had so much money and delivered so little, or at least I don't hear about that stuff getting delivered, maybe because I'm not part of the ICOs and maybe I didn't have money for it. But I feel like the percentages that I've been seeing is that a huge amount of these ICOs fail and they just like they're, they were an Ethereum money grab, which uh, is disappointing because I, I really like crypto te crypto and cryptocurrency technologies. And it's a shame that we have to go down this road to, to get past this stuff, um, to get to the decent stuff. A crazy pie is next. The true robot kit for DIY robot lovers. Visible slam mapping, real-time video audio streaming, move it, PTM, build your own robot with crazy pie. Look at this thing. This thing is a beast. I'm a little bit concerned about the camera just being all exposed and open like that. But the price of it's pretty damn cheap, really. Like 193 Hong Kong dollars for the main board kit, or you can get uh, the whole media kit for 461 Hong Kong dollars, which I'm sorry, I don't know what the translation is between US and UK, but look at this thing. It's cute. It's tiny too, really, surprisingly. I wonder what the range is on, um, on the camera, but it's cool. It's got like slam functionality on there. So it's got like environmental tracking of around it. And then I've obviously got the Raspberry Pi 3B mounted on there. Last three today then, Magpie, the smartest truly global GPS tracker around. Nearly 6,000 people brought this to life with $262,000. Um, it doesn't say how much access pack. One Magpie with one month service, five bucks. That's interesting. That's interesting they went down that route because I presume then you can upgrade how much time you want on it. Uh, pledge US 49 bucks to get one free unit, one clip, one free charging cable, and then four dollars monthly service fee for 12 months. Okay, so like five bucks a month, you charge it up with USB, you put it in your bag, and it's uh, a tracker, a GPS tracker. It is tiny, it's perfect to put on a kid's bag. You just got to remember, I guess, to charge it up, or I guess you could put like a power supply unit inside of the the bag as well and just keep it reasonably charged or i guess it doesn't use a hell of a lot of charge really uh, i love that actually i wonder if uh, i wonder if people have received them yet the last two today high resolution 3d scanner mark ii uh the want to make use of your 3d printer or you're looking for the ultimate raspberry pi project look how high resolution those 3d models are like you can literally scan anything now and then turn it into and like duplicate it like you can just have an object like a cup right and then just scan that and duplicate obviously you can't like duplicate the design on it but uh well i guess you could but i'm not sure if it do the colors as well maybe it won't maybe it does not uh, looks like it just duplicates the actual object and then obviously you would have to paint it to suit new mark ii standalone hardware raspberry pi 3b based stl stl output exclusive points cloud editing and manipulation final one today then the flex cam pick i had to include this and even though it's going to slow everything down on my machine this is like a little camera that uh called the pick and uh you can wrap it it's got like this weird like cable system on the bottom of it which you can wrap around like objects like a i know some kind of shelving or a bike or maybe you're in a gym or something 
and I don't know if it does video as well, I presume it does, but it takes like automated pictures or I presume you can either tap it or click it to uh, get an image out of it. And it might just be a lot safer to use one of these um, on a night out or at the gym rather than spending, taking your thousand dollar or two thousand dollar mobile phone just to take snaps and selfies on. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Let me just uh, close this out. Da -da 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 done. This is what the website looks like as of 2018 October. Uh, all the hunts are on the right hand side. When you click on any of them, they appear on the left hand side. When you hit the white button, it takes you through to the URL. This is what you fill in to add your own hunt onto the Steam Hunt website. Put in the title, put in a subdescription, put up to a thousand characters of text. Upload an image up to 5 meg in size, that's for animated gifs, off, GIFs obviously, and then put tags in at the bottom. Click on post, it goes to the Steam blockchain, but it also goes onto your um, Steam blog as well. It, it stays on their website for a whole day, and then people comment and upvote on it, and chances are you will get a vote by the bid bot by the end of the day. Uh, that's it for me today. I will catch up with you tomorrow. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Repair the path of a steam. Smell of steam. Stum, Nassi, what is a stum, Nassi? Stum, Nassi. Why shouldn't the guy let off the steam? The steam.